government extends lockdown till 30 june 2020 in containment zones unlock fun reopening of activities in phased manner outside containment zones the recovery rate in the country is recorded at 47.75 percent while the death rate is 2.83 percent the global tally of coronavirus cases stands at 6 crore and 371 lakh people have died from this disease so far. Center has provided 119 lakh N95 masks and 96 lakh PPEs to states, UTS, central institutions. No restriction on interstate and intrastate movement of persons and goods. Railways request state governments to boost planning and coordination of Shramik special trains. IT Minister launches national AI portal, one-stop digital platform for AI-related developments and resource center. India registered its highest single-day spike of coronavirus cases on 31st May. The government has now allowed malls, hotels, religious places to open from June 8. has reached to more than 20,000 and more than 500 people are reported dead. Oh my god, it is a matter of concern. Are you safe right now? Don't worry, I am safe and this is my job to observe the surroundings and give reports. Okay, can you tell our viewers some main ways to be safe from this virus? Sure, stay home if you feel unwell. Practice social distancing. The best way to fight this virus is your immunity. If your immunity is strong, you can be safe. Okay, thanks Urvashi. We'll connect later. Bye. So now, we are going to connect with Weber. Hello Weber. Hello sir. I'm in Maharashtra right now. And the cases here are not taking the new stop. They are just increasing and increasing. Most of the cases are from Dharvi, Mumbai and Aurangabad. Okay, by the way, can you tell us some main headlines? Okay, Shivam. The main headline of now is that government of Maharashtra has started the Chase the Virus campaign by seeing the doubling rate of the patients of coronavirus. Okay, Baba. Bye. I, Asar Singh, is back to you again to give you the latest news. So now, Gurnoor is connected with us live from Tamil Nadu. So Gurnoor, can you please tell that what is the current situation there? Hello, Adar. In Tamil Nadu, current accusations are about 21,000. The deaths are about 160 and about 12,000 people are recovered and sent back home safely. Tamil Nadu Police registered 5 lakh plus FIRs, imposes over rupees 8 crore fine. Tamil Nadu government expands coronavirus lockdown till June 30, allows parts of the most to remain closed. Thank you, Gurnoor, for the information. So now, Devyanshi is also connected with us live from Gujarat. So, Devyanshi, can you please tell us what is the situation there? Hello, sir. In Gujarat, who had a travel history to Saudi Arabia and London, respectively. There are more than 16,000 confirmed cases in the state, which includes 6,106 active cases, 9,345 recovered cases, 1,007 deaths. The deaths in Gujarat have been mostly in a high-risk zone or converted zone. Thank you, Gurnuna Devanshi, for the information. Stay home, stay safe.
Hello all the lovely viewers. Today we the students of St. Lawrence Public Senior Secondary School are here to tell you about the success of e-learning initiative taken by our school. We as students are thankful for this e-learning initiative taken by our school management for conducting studies online. Since the lockdown, we all are busy in playing games, in mobiles and other gadgets. And then our school launched a channel on YouTube and that helped us in understanding of our new class concepts. By this way, we are using our mobiles and laptops for studies. It also helps us to know more about IT and our principal sir gives new difficult words daily which help in enhancing vocabulary. Yes, our teachers are also working very hard and doing work such as uploading assignments and making online tests. It also consumes a lot of time, but they are... We all are living in these crucial times, but our teachers never let us know that we are not coming to school. They are taking our online classes, which feels just like school. It includes many of the activities which we do in our classrooms such as reading, raising hands and giving answers.